Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth React tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way we can cycle through data. All right, so in the last tutorial, we had a look at state and we defined some data on the state object and we output that in these li tags right here. Now, typically we're not gonna know how many different items are in a particular array or something like that. And we don't want to output data like this. We don't want to hard code it in because there might be five items or there might be seven and we won't know how many to code. So we need an elegant way of cycling through this data and outputting it. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that now. I'm gonna get rid of these things. And then what we're gonna do is create our own function right here to manipulate the data and output it differently. We can do that in the render function. So to do this, we're gonna use the JavaScript map function. And what the map function does is take one array, changes it in some way or other, and then outputs it to a new array. So say for example, we wanted to create a new array based on this one, where it took the items within the array and then put an exclamation mark on the end of each item like this. Well, we can do that using the map function. The map function cycles through each item, alters it in some way, and outputs that item to a new array. So let's do that to output the data. So it's all gonna become clear once we create this function. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is create a variable within this render function right here, right? And this is gonna be called to do. So I'm making a local variable, a local version of this data right here. So I'm gonna set that equal to this.state.todos, okay? So this now is a local version of this data and we can manipulate it because we don't wanna change this. We want to keep this as is. So below that, what I'm going to say is to do's equals to do's dot map. This is where we're going to map this array into a new one. And the map function takes through another function as an argument. And these item and index are two arguments of this function. So this is the item. So it'll be the string in each case. And this is the index of that item in the array. So 0, 1, 2. Okay, so each time we cycle through an item in this array, we wanna do something with it. We wanna return something to the new array. So I'm gonna return, and this is gonna be some HTML, some JSX if you like, and it's gonna be li, and it's gonna be item. So we're outputting the item in those curly braces because it's a reference to a variable. And the item, don't forget, is this thing right here. So each time we go through one of the elements, we're gonna return, li and then the item okay so this is now being mapped to a new array where it's going to be li item close li li item close li etc all right so that's our new array now so now what we can do is just simply output the to do's like this copy that right here because this now contains all the li tags make sense so now it doesn't matter whether we've got three items in here or 30 items in here. It's gonna use the map fun uh, function to cycle through each one and output them into a new array with the HTML tags included. So now when we reference it here, it has all those li tags included. Cool, right? So let's save this dude and make sure it's worked. Check it out in a browser. And yep, it's still working. And now let's add another one. We'll just say buy flowers. And save that and as we save it it's going to reload and yet we can see that as well pretty cool so now this is all working fine so there we go that's how we cycle through our data and output it to the browser 